Well, Danny, an entertaining uh, nil-nil draw. Your thoughts on uh, this afternoon's performance against City and Liverpool? A frustrating one. I think, obviously, um, City and Liverpool come here and, and they've really done a job today. Banked up behind the ball, trying to frustrate us. Um, couldn't really come to that because in the, our defensive third. Uh, for the first half, we just didn't quite move the ball quickly enough to, to expose them in wide areas. Second half, I thought we were a lot better and created numerous opportunities. Um, so again, as I've said, it, it's a compliment to the boys that, that they've come up here and, and not decided to go after them in our in, their, in our half. And the us get to the halfway line before they start to engage us. So again, credit to City Liverpool. They've, they've come up, they've done the homework and they've uh, stuck to a game plan and they've got away with what they've come up for. Uh, virtually camped in their half, second half. Uh, keepers made two or three good saves. They've defended bravely and blocked several efforts. We had the best chance though, probably from the penalty spot. First of all, did you think it was a penalty? You looked clear cut. And uh, your thoughts on uh, Lewis's spot key? Yeah, I, I thought it was a penalty to be honest with you. Um, I've just sort of seen him come across. I think he just stood on Scotty's foot to be honest with you. I think it is a penalty. Um, and as you say, I think we've created numerous other opportunities. And I'm going for Lou because he's working so hard, he's in training, he's hitting the back of the net. And it, once one goes in, I've got no doubt that Lewis Riley will score plenty of goals for us. Um, but just at the moment, it's just not quite falling for me. As one later on in the game that come cannons back off the post after reacting well. Um, he obviously set Scotty up with uh, a great header back across goal. And it's just not quite there for him yet. But we, and again, as I said to him in there, not to get frustrated and not to get too downbeat. His goal will come, and once it comes, I'm sure there'll be a few more to follow. There's eight corners in the second half, 12 in total. I think the corner count was 12-1. But uh, nothing on the end of them. Would, you, would we too predictable from the, uh, from the corners and set pieces? I think we've, we've had a couple of opportunities. Uh, I think Goose has had one um, in the first half. I've had Riggy just across the front post in the first half. I've had a couple in the second half that we just couldn't quite get there. Um, I think, obviously, at times, you're backing our boys to go and attack the ball really well. I think, obviously, when you've got the likes of Sam, Goose, Scotty, Ruben, Lewis, Riley, Riggy, you know you're going to get someone on the end of it. And, and today, credit to City Liverpool with defending for the lives. There were two or three great blocks, and even in second phases of corners, that would help back in and They've thrown the bodies on the line and credit to them, they've got the point and, and they're away happy. It's not all doom and gloom, we're up to second in the table. Uh, the unbeaten run stretches your seven games. You must be quite happy with the progress over the last few weeks, apart from the nil-nil today. Yeah, I think obviously the big thing for me is that the performances are getting there. Um, we talk, talk about our standards in our uh, dressing room of, of just being tidy and being um, concentrated on the basics of football. Um, and today there was little spells that I thought we were just a little bit sloppy at times. Um, but again, credit to the boys, they've got to kept going. And I can never doubt these boys' work rate, their attitude, their desire, the winning mentality. But as I've said to them in there, we just need to tidy up a little bit. And I think once we tidy up the, the, the little bits of the game, I think we can get on another good run as well. I don't think there was a poor performance, but uh, you give an opportunity to Jordan from the start, Jordan Farmer. Uh, how do you think it performed today? Yeah, again, I don't think there was a bad performance today. I thought everyone done well. I thought that um, John looked really lively, especially in the first half when he was threatening on the on the last line over the top. He was unlucky with his shot just flashed across goal. Um, so again, he, he's creating competition. I think he's coming there. He, he, he's done fine, and um, it gives me and Terry thought um, food for thought for Tuesday night to make sure that we're ready for a tough game. Uh, speaking of Tuesday, off to Macclesfield, it's a cracking game. We all want to to be there, to be involved. Um, availability, will that be a problem for, no, for some of the lads? we're quite lucky, we've only got one player unavailable. Um, so again, we'll be looking forward to that one and make sure that we put a team out on there that we can go up against uh, one of the league favourites and make sure we do ourselves justice and we'll try and get a positive result out of it. Danny, well done today and we'll go through it all again on Tuesday. Cheers, Steve, thank you.